Hello, my name is Taka Matsumura. My team name is PHCR3 and my team ID is SG2270077. This year, I am 15 years old. I had robotics and coding experience since 12. Some examples are Arduino, EV3, Microbit, Enfigo, Python, and C++. I took part in RoboCup Arcade Code Space U19 this year. I have also taken part in the RoboCup Arcade Code Space Rescue U19 First Steps 2021, Code Space First Steps 2020, but it was cancelled due to COVID-19. Some problems I faced during the preliminary challenge is that my robot kept going over the yellow border and get penalized. I solved this by using color sensors to avoid the yellow line. But another problem came out from the from there, which is that even though there is a code to avoid the yellow line, the line was so thin that sometimes the robot didn't detect the line and went over the border. I solved this by using coordinates. I set the world border by a certain axis so that it will bounce back when it hits the specified axis. Other problems I faced were when one side of the robot senses the deposit and the other side doesn't. It ignores the deposit and moves on. I solved this by coding so that when one side senses the color of the deposit's color, it turns and moves to the deposit's direction. The robot then deposits after both color sensors senses the deposit. Another problem I faced was that when the robot gets stuck in the grey corner and slows down, it causes the robot to waste time. So I solved this by when the robot reaches the grey region, it increases its speed to max. I chose to increase the speed instead of avoiding it because it might miss some collectibles that are in the grey zone and it will be a waste of points. This is an example of the border code where I set its x and y coordinates. As you can see, the robot bounces off the border even though it touches the yellow line. This is because I have set the borders in the game, which causes it to bounce off. I didn't use any algorithms as the small grey boxes that are set randomly across the map disrupts any algorithm set. Using the knowledge I have learned, I can apply it to the real world by using them to help check if there are any casualties trapped under debris after a disaster. To go through narrow spaces, avoid obstacles, sense terrains, and make sure the robot keeps its balance and doesn't fall, it needs sensors like ultrasonic sensors and color sensors. The color sensors can also be used to sense the color of blood, which will send a signal to the rescuers to prioritize this particular victim's rescue to ensure their survival. Thank you for listening to my presentation.